Okay, turn to your partner and get started. Hello, I'm Mrs. Diaz and I'd like to welcome you to my third grade class. I'm so excited to talk to you today about the Online Teacher Center for Everyday Mathematics. I'm excited because I can see my students developing deeper understanding of math concepts and I've never been more confident that they're developing true, enduring mastery. All because of Everyday Mathematics and the Connect Ed Teacher Center. When I start my math block, the Everyday Mathematics Teacher Center automatically opens to the lesson I'm teaching that day because it's tied to my planner. But I can easily open any lesson just by clicking here. And every lesson is right at my fingertips. But today, we're on lesson 310. And this is my lesson overview. I can see all the materials I'll need as well as the vocabulary covered in the lesson. I can add my own notes about the lesson. And I can even upload resources I found that help me teach the lesson. But one of the things I like the most about the overview is that I can see the focus standards of every lesson. And if I select one, I can not only read the standard, but I can see how many times it's appeared before this lesson and how many more opportunities to cover it are coming up. But the most powerful thing I can see here is the real data that shows me how my students have performed on the standard. For example, Aiden has met expectations on 78% of the activities I've evaluated. And that's great information for me to have because it tells me a lot about where my students should be in terms of mastery of the standard at this point in the year. This data helps drive my instruction. I'll make smarter, better informed decisions about small group work and differentiation. That means I'm prepared to adjust my instruction to meet the needs of every student in my class, and it's all based on real data. As you can see, we've already started the lesson today, and my students are already working on an activity. Let's see how they did. Okay, everyone eyes on me. Everyone hold up their answers. Great, looks like you all did great work. But Beth, can you tell me how you got your answer? Well, right here I did an array, and then I know that 25 rulers are in five groups because 25 divided by five is five, and five times five is 25. Very good. Did anyone else do it differently? How else could we solve this problem? Brad? So if I have an array of five this way and five that way, it would equal 25 if you did it in a multiplication problem, and with that 25 and you divide it by five, it would equal five. You're exactly right, Brad. Your way works just as well as Beth's. Okay, good work, everyone. Why don't you all open up your math boxes now? Everyday mathematics is how I teach, and it's how my children learn.